Hello friends, one of the most asked questions I get or advice that I get asked about all the time as a tech coach is, um, Jen, what do I do about my Google Drive? It is a hot mess. Um, I need to get it organized. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to get started. I've got years and years of just junk. So I'm going to give you my top 10 tips um, of things that you can do to help yourself get organized. So let's check it out. All right. Number one is that in your Google Drive, you can actually toggle the view between grid view and list view. And it's really just dependent on what your personal preference is. Um, I'm actually going to take you to my Google Drive right now. Brave me. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, this is my actual Google Drive. It is really this empty. I think I kind of surprised myself, but um, here's what I want to show you is up in the corner of your Google Drive, you can actually click and toggle between a list view of what everything is and a grid view of what everything is. Now in your grid view, you're only going to get thumbnails of the things that are individual files. So Google Drive always displays everything with folders first and then your files that don't have a home that don't have a folder. So even if you go to your list view, you can see I have all my folders first and then it goes down to my little individual files. So list view versus grid view. Number two, stay out of shared with me. Um, unless you're looking for something specific that you didn't like add a shortcut to your drive, just don't, don't mess with it. Don't delete anything. So when I'm in my Google drive, yes, this looks nice. I'm aware that shared with me is this like hot mess here. Um, don't mess with it. Okay. Just don't, that's not that stuff. Other people own other accounts own this shared with you. This is your stuff under my drive. So let's just deal with that. The next tip um, I just learned about recently totally blew my mind. Um, you can turn off those suggested files at the top of your Google Drive. When you go to your Google Drive up at the top, see I have no suggested files. All you have to do is go to your settings gear, settings, scroll down, and your suggestions or suggested files, you can turn those on, which is actually the default, kind of weird. If you turn them off and now see no more suggested files at the top. Very nice, very clean. Love it. All right. Number four, create a new folder for all of your old or archived items and basically move everything there to get rid of your visual clutter. Let's take a look back at my Google Drive. I have a folder ah, right here called archived. That folder is basically all of my old stuff I don't need anymore. Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. I didn't delete it. I just threw it all into archived. Everything visually very nice and neat. If I need to go digging back into something, I can go in there and dig around and try to find stuff, but really I'm just keeping the relevant stuff, the stuff I need up at the top right there. Number five and number six, let's move myself over here a little bit. Number five and number six uh, is about renaming and organizing your folders. So tip number five is to rename your files to reorder them because you view them in alphabetical order. So you can name them accordingly. There are a lot of people that will put um, numbers in front of folders in order to like force the ordering a certain way. But the other thing you can do is you can add an emoji to your file um, and you can change the colors of your folders to help rename, reorganize your folders and make them easier to find. So let's take a look. In my drive, you see that I have some folders that I have colored to make them easier to find. So when I'm looking at this sea of gray uh, icons, I can get in and see them. You'll also notice that because mine are organized by name, they're alphabetized. Anything that has an emoji first gets bumped up to the beginning of the alphabet. So A doesn't even start until after all of my emoji folders come in first. So those ones are ones that I use more often, or it just benefits from having an emoji in there. Tip number seven is to use the starred section in Google Drive to bookmark your most important and most used files. Um, and the easy way to do that is to just right click on a file and select add to starred. Now I do this a lot if I have a presentation coming up and I need to access my um, slides pretty easily. So you can see if I go on here and I look, um, I got a couple of presentations that I did for kids recently, um, have those bookmarked in my uh, starred folder. When you go to your drive, all you got to do is right click on it, add to start, and you're done. 
I go in and I add and I remove things from starred. So I use it kind of as like a temporary holding place for what's important. Um, and that's probably hopefully really helpful for you too. Now, options for moving your files in Google Drive. Um, you have all these files, you don't know what to do with them. A couple things you can do. Number one, you can take a file and you can drag and drop them in. So if I was gonna take this untitled Jamboard file and I wanted to drop it into my images folder, I have it let go, it goes into my images folder. Untitled Jam has been moved from my drive to images. Great, awesome. Now the other thing I can do is I can right click on this file and I can use move to. And then I get my little hierarchy here that I can go in and find folders and things. And I can say, you know what, put that into that images folder and I can hit move that way. So lots of ways that you can move your files, whatever is easier for you. This also works for drag into trash. All right. So let's talk about trash a little bit here. Now, you can actually select multiple items at once by pressing and holding the control button or the command button if you're on a Mac um, when you click on files. Then after you have multiple files selected, you can use your drag and drop or you can right click and instead of using move to, use remove to send it to trash. So you can see right here, when I had my file selected, selecting, dragging it to trash or right clicking on the file and then using remove to send it to trash. Then it's really simple. You just go to your trash folder, hit empty trash to remove it forever. Make yourself some space in your Google Drive. My last tip for you all today is to share your folders between your work and your personal accounts. So in my Google Drive, this is my this is my personal professional folder. This is not my work folder. This is my account at home, but I use a lot of things across accounts. So what I do is here, I have a folder called PD and you can see that I'm sharing that folder. When I go to share, you can see that it's shared with my personal account, but also with my work account. Now that allows me to have one folder. I don't have to copy, worry about things syncing, you know, making copies of things, emailing it to myself. It's one folder that I share with my two accounts. Hopefully these tips have helped you um, organize your Google Drive or at least gotten you ready to sit down and really kind of take on your Google Drive and put it into some kind of order. Um, good luck and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.